am recording. Okay, so this is team MM3, module three, meeting one. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do case study number one, right? Yes. Yeah. I put um, for the ethical issue from the code, one of them that I put in is the multiple relationships and conflicts of interest as they would be coworkers as well as client BCBA relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Um, I also add, uh... What was that? Pro a protecting protecting confident confidential information. Uh, the behavior analysis uh, take appropriate steps to protect the confidentiality of the clients. Uh, because she, I mean, in the example, it says that Mary works for the scheduling department and in the same facility. And if she bring her son, she will be more. It will be a forced conflict interest when of uh, the scheduling issue, but also documentations when it comes to, um, um, how, you know, making decisions. And it's just looks like it's another conflict uh, being a open to documentations um, that, you know, it, it's, a, it's a workplace for her. So she will be, I'm sure, have um, a access to all the documentations uh, for him, mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it's also, I don't know if, you, I mean, you can, I mean, you, I, I was thinking twice if to write it down, but I'm just putting in a group. And if you guys think that maybe it's not related, I would like to hear your any feedback because I wasn't like 100% sure because she's the mom. And as a mom by myself, I would like to know any information you know, regarding uh, my son uh, when it comes to make decisions for his uh, treatment. But at the same yeah, time- Yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah, if they're like conducting FBA, I'm sorry for interrupting. And she would like have all the prior, like prior his like IEP and his BIP plans, she would be, yeah, exposed to all the information. Yeah. So I don't know. I would. I thought it's a good to mention, but it could be could be some consent or any agreement that needs to be informed before for both sides. Yeah, but definitely the the multiple relationships is the one that needs to be. Um, so I'm not sure. sure. So I'm looking at the BACB compliance mm -hmm. code. So I see the first, like the 1.06 one that I posted, but there's not a 1.11 on this. So I, don't know. I think I was looking at the new one, um, but let me see. The 2022, I believe. I don't know. Let me see. Hmm. The one, did you look at the one at BACB.com? It was uh, on that, but it may have Yeah, been there is no one point no one. one, one. Mm -mm. Was and, it? and yeah, it's 1.06 multiple uh, relationship and conflicts of interest. Is that the one you were talking about? That's uh, what I was looking at. Yeah, it says, it's, it says yeah. ethics. It's, it's this one. It's the... Ethics code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. The one, but it says it says January first, twenty twenty two. So I guess oh, that's, that's the one. Version. That's the new version. Yeah. Are you, do you know there was a new one? <laughs> yeah, uh, but, but oh. I think there was a link for two thousand sixteen, and sixteen or yeah. oh. Six, I'm sorry. looking at the one two thousand sixteen. Yeah. That's what I was looking at. Yeah. But I think, I mean, we should be fine with 2016 for now since it's not, I don't know, what do you guys decide 2022? And yeah. so you just have to switch numbers and that's it, it's the same. Yeah, yeah. 
So which one do we want to do? The new or old? You can, you can keep the one for 2016 because it repeats itself. And I mean, it's 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 just mm -hmm. to change the number. So definitely I can delete my... Uh... Okay. Yeah, so if you we can find that protecting confidential information one in the other code then. Unless mm -hmm. that's on the old code. So we have multiple relationships and conflicts of interest. Yeah, protecting confidential information. Mm -hmm. There's a maintaining 2.06. 2.6? Yeah. Behavior oh, analysts yeah. have a primary obligation and take reasonable precautions to protect the confidentiality of those. Work. I don't know if that would be a breach of that, though. Yeah. Um. That would be a breach of the second one though. So I'm gonna copy that for- Are you talking about 2.06? Yeah. Do you think that would work for the first one? I think so. I think so, yeah. I believe it too. Sense. Yeah. Okay. I think that would apply to the second one as well. So I'm gonna put it down there because she is not keeping things confidential with her hashtags. Wait, are you talking about hashtags? Oh no, we are we are number no. one. Number yeah. one, right? Okay. Number two. I just found one that applies to number two though, so I'm gonna Oh okay, okay. Because <laughs> I'm like, wait, oh we still <laughs> sorry, <I'm joking> <laughs> Oh you're number two. Okay. We can see the if the question number three, I think it's more like going into details for that. For maintaining Oh, it's ethical issues. And number three is ethical principles addressed in the case. Mm -hmm. So is it just like another wording or? And uh, I think we need to, it says uh, identify the factors, right? For the current scenario, so a scenario and the strategies. Yeah, I think it's kind of summarizing. And then like you said, yeah. Summarizing mm -hmm. it and what do you do moving forward? And on the example, yeah. it was a pretty extensive, like it was probably three like substantive, substantial yeah. Yeah. paragraphs. I wrote right. like uh, that we need to kind of uh, disclose the relationship uh, of the matter as employee in the agency. And it's important that they have any agreement uh, of constant to avoid like a, a you know, a, any, any conflict that comes in the way. Um, but in, do you see any other factors that we can, or strategy that we can put to prevent the scenario? So who's who's typing? Who's going to be do the typing? I can just yeah. I wrote I wrote it down, so I'm just going to put while it in. we are discussing. Yeah. Or how do you guys want to do it? Did you say you had some written down already, Karen? Yeah. Yeah, I put it here in a second. Sorry. Oh, okay. Because if somebody's really good at typing, we can just, while we're discussing. Yeah, I can. 
I can't guarantee it will like be coherent, but I'll just take. We note. can always do well, the change that's after. Okay. We'll go while just, we're after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we're yeah to like double check and stuff, but okay. yeah, we can always do the changing after. Uh, and of course, feel free to add on top of things also um, to correct me, especially if I have any grammar mistakes. As English is me uh, too. I'm here. <laughs> <the> same. <laughs> okay, start talking and I'll type. Yeah, sure. Um, well, so are we deleting the one point one one or so we just keep one point zero six? So we can go by the question. We'll go with the questions and uh, probably. Um, yeah, because one point one one wasn't in there, so let's take both of those ones off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's do. Yeah, let's start with um, one point zero six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like you said, it's a relationship of the mother as an employee and the agency, and there would be conflicts in multiple relationships. Mm -hmm. I think uh, since uh, it's also multiple relationship, it's also um, affect the child, I would say the client itself I, for having his mom around when he's coming to treatment and he probably like, it, it might be any, um, a, a, some effect on the treatment itself, probably. Yeah, the child can have like different behaviors, like interfering be behaviors around his mother and also can be kind of, I don't know, the services might, might be interrupted or, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. just like I've heard stories when... Uh, like you have clients at home that like mom would come in and like check on her kid and stuff so mom might be like having an attempt to go in <laughs> during session to check on her kid or something so that might be an issue too I don't know. So the concern of the mother, like being, I don't know. Around the kid. I just don't know if that's necessarily an ethical concern though, because like because is maybe to the records and the information she has, or is it just her con care and concern for the child? Cause any parent can, you know, make a yeah. session muddled by being too involved or like too yeah. opinionated uh, <laughs> but i don't know if it's an ethical yeah. concern in that regard yeah i think i think in this this scenario i think it's more the conflict between the mom and the aba because it's as you're, you're right because you could be in a home environment and the mom will be present as well yeah so yeah, because I think the multiple multiple relationship in the sense of maybe them being really good friends and yeah. her wanting to sit around and chat could be an ethical. Oh, thing. that can not be an issue. Not necessarily, not yeah. necessarily like a breach of like the information. Yeah, yeah, knows. that's true. That's a good point. So yeah, yeah, I agree. I might be not correct. Right. But uh, that's a good one about chatting with co-workers and <laughs> yeah, the effectiveness of productivity. That's a nice point. Yep.
is number four is, res is resolved, but it says also to include the potential risk factors or, or areas that may uh, require continued monitoring. So we should add like the problem. I think in the other document, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed like, like, like this one. Uh, well, we uh, need to well, discuss need to... three parts, right? Did you look at the example? You talk about the scenario? Uh, I'm talking about the, uh, we have to follow the discussing points. We have the question, right? The, by the question like, you mean? Yeah, we have one ethical dilemma. We have two like gravel codes, three solution, resolve mm -hmm. the issue. And mm -hmm. are you talking about point four? Because I don't see the four. So, uh, oh, I'm so looking at the question. Numbers right. I think that's the. So on the example. Oh yeah, I'm talking about. Oh yeah, I was talking about the 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 question that was on the like when you know on the work paper when uh, when the scenario was there. There was like five questions, but this uh, is not. But we supposed. Oh, we supposed to do only the three points that you mentioned. The ethical dilemma. I, the I think so. I'm looking at the example she provided us in the module. So, okay, okay. Yeah. So this yeah. one, I think it needs to go like this, and then these will be moved up. Because previous doesn't just mess up the document. That's how it. That's how it looks like in the example. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. right. Yes, it, it's not numbered right in the example though, so it's kind of confusing. It, yeah, it's no kind works. of mixed, right? Is it? <laughs> it works it's well. It's like yeah. one and then three and then two and there three. So yeah. I was kind of confused, and I'm just like, I think the way we put in we should be okay. Yeah. it's okay. As long as uh, uh, as long as we have like titles like ethical issues, codes, yeah. resolve. So, so the resolution, I think, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Are we going to do more codes or just one is enough? I think we should probably have a few. Maybe at least one more. <laughs> I'm going through and reading. Uh, we talk about the, um, the still number one or number two now, uh, number 20. Number one. Number one. Okay. I also thought, but I didn't find any codes on would she have an issue in scheduling, like give her child, like, I don't know. <laughs> Priority. Priority mm -hmm. for like, I don't know, time, date, or maybe pick her favorite BCBA or RBT to work with. Yeah. I just, I didn't find a code yet, but. I'm thinking that's, that might be an issue. That's what I was thinking. Maybe to solve it with uh, like a documentations, like uh, any agreement constant do, to resolve any conflict that comes when, you know, uh, when she makes priority or if she makes any scheduling for her son, at least it's disclosed that she has, she's the one that employee in doing it. So she'll be watched, uh, you know, and be careful, you know, more probably but or it makes things more clear when there's a, a disclosure of you know um that she's she has relationship with her you know with the client as because i used to work for um long ago as as a real estate broker in and um if you have any relationship with the customer you always have to disclose it and the contract and i think it makes people, you know, understand that it's it's um it needs to be careful and 
equal, have an equal rights, no matter what, if it's your relatives or not. So at this point, I think maybe just to disclose it or, but if you have any other solution, I also looked at the other codes. I didn't find any specific code. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't see any other <laughs> that will work for this case. So 7.01 is promoting an ethical culture. That could, it's just behavior analysts promote an ethical culture in their work environment and make others aware of this code. Just in the sense, like, I don't think they're necessarily breaching it, but they're kind of walking on thin ice taking it. So they just need to like, be aware of how that specific code could be broken of creating an ethical or a casual culture by like by letting you know that son be a client it could just like create more of a casual culture if they're not careful yeah it might be yep we can include that we one can include that. Mm -hmm. sure <laughs> And also, I'm just wondering if that would have any issues with maintaining records. If I'm sure BCBA, they do, they like, they don't store their records in, in the, I don't know, office or somewhere. If that lady would have access to BCBA's records, but she shouldn't, I believe. I don't know. Because <laughs> 2.07 says about maintaining records. What was the number uh, that you add now for the code? That was uh, seven, what was it? 0.01. Oh, okay. Yeah, promoting an ethical culture. Even like we could talk about how that um, like would um, potentially favor like favors or more casual like deals could be made because there's that multiple relationship mm -hmm. yeah because sometimes as discount. employee we do get some kind of benefits benefits right like i don't know and it would be yeah. easy to just cater not even really thinking about yeah. it yeah mm -hmm. but that's very related i think yeah yeah okay are we ready for hashtag i think kind so, of just type up some stuff on the resolve the issue if you guys want to move down to the hashtag one and then it will probably take some collaboration just on the document in the next few days mm -hmm. too but i'll try mm -hmm. to just add some to it right now yeah I, it was different code for the new one i put 203 but maybe let's see uh if it's the same, then I don't need to add. So for hashtag, um, we have 2.06 and 2.08. Mm. I put also a the disclosing confidential information behavior analysis take appropriate steps to protect the confidentiality in the clients. And what was it? And also obtaining informed constant behavior analysis that is responsible for knowing about the complying with all conditions. Like he needs a consent from the parents for taking pictures. Um, you know, that he took the pictures from the client of the client. And if he put it on social media, he need the agreement of the parent. So what I think code are we reading? I'm sorry. 
uh, I put also, well, it's 2.11, 2 but I'm trying to see what it was on 2016 code because I put it on the, the other code. Let me see. It's called, uh, it's called obtaining informed consent, consent. I think, let's see where it is. Yeah, I can't find this one. Wait, question about the top one. So they can take on the client and that's still ethical. Is that correct? Or does like, would he have to go to a completely different service altogether? Well, I think, I don't know. I think, I think ethically she's not allowed to put uh, his pictures or not just pictures, but any um, information about the child, because now, like, because he shows his reward, his reward that he was, you know, able to complete the, I forgot what it was. Um, it, uh, let me see. It was uh, word for uh, getting the student of the month or something like that. And so I don't know if it's accomplished that something done in like a special need class. So maybe that's extra information about the child, maybe. So this is the um, first one that I'm referring to still. Sorry, I'm up writing still. Yeah. No, so, no, it's good. so with Marie and Janie, can Janie take on the client or do they need to go to a different service altogether? That's an option, I think. I wouldn't cancel that option. I think it's, uh, it's to resolve it. Um, I do believe that if he stays in the in the agency and he gets treatment, it needs to be disclosed and needs to be an agreement that right that one of the employee is uh, the relatives, like the mom of the child. Uh, but of course, they, they that's the other option that they can choose just a different or refer to a different agency. So yeah, as but far as if, we're aware, there's no like ethical whatever like nothing would be breached just by letting them on like it could be breached by yeah. other things but letting mm -hmm. it letting them on yeah, yeah I, think, I think if you're gonna notice it says like rural area so the net like They're closest eba mm -hmm. agency might be like a few hours away so i mean it is okay to keep the kiddo just like you said they need to have some kind of consent and agreement okay Sorry, you can co keep going. On yeah, go. no, 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 just <laughs> sure. Go ahead, type it. <laughs> yeah, maybe bring that up, that point up that like AB yeah. agency can be like far away. So, and I'm sure everybody wants to get services. And the child it has its right to have services. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, I guess, yeah, they need to have some kind of contracts and consent signed. Okay. Uh, so for number two, for hashtag. Yeah, I... I found it through um, under section two, two point eleven. It says obtaining informed consent. Um, that's under a ethics standards. A, it says section one responsibility as a professional, but I'm not sure where it's the uh, the one in the in the two thousand six. 
it's um the responsibility should be oh the two two point two point yeah two i think behavior analysis responsibility clients so well definitely here it's 2.06 maintaining confidence confidentiality yeah that's a big um, one i think yeah that's a big one and also like the points yeah i'm sorry yeah it actually has a lot of points in it so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also something that I don't see here, but I do see in the uh, new code that they add something called a obtaining informed constant behavior analyst, that they are responsible for knowing about the complying with all conditions under, I'll put it, I'll put it right here so you guys can see what, what is it. Um, let, me, let me know if it's related, maybe it's not. Um, I just think that it could be like, something that I ask that I have to ask permission, but I'll put it here in our, in our and let me know you feel free to add or to delete. Uh, put it right here. But what do you think guys about 207 maintaining records? If she's taking pictures on her phone, is she, how mm -hmm. she's gonna store the pictures or what she's gonna do with it? That's true. If I just copy and paste uh, 207, if you can take a look at it and see what do you think about her keeping the picture and or storing, I don't know, on her phone, iCloud, whatever. If that one works for this case. Yeah. The two point the zero seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Very relating. Yeah. I, I believe it's a, it's a, it's 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 still about the rights of our clients. So I think they're all related, uh, what we mentioned. Of course, we can minimize it after because it's keep repeating, it's keep repeating each one, the word convention. It's hard for me to say it. <laughs> so, but I would say that some parents may be okay with that, that they're, you know, that the ABA is really... Um, like proud of you know of their kid and and she's showing uh, his achievement so but some parents uh, would like it and some parents won but I think it's always good to ask and just to be on the safe side yeah to get a consent or contract just like we mm -hmm. yeah, we were talking about definitely they have the rights to say yes or no it's their child and especially with kids' pictures today on the internet, I mean, I don't know, or social media. There's different okay. issues, yeah, mm -hmm. but kids and internet and pictures, so especially location. And of course, everybody okay. would know that kiddo is in that agency. Yeah. Yeah, Although, I, I don't know, might be an issue yeah. with some parents. Yeah. yeah. So he's keeping his privacy. I was looking for if there's any privacy code for, I'm sure there is one, but I think that what you stand, the 207 is really relating when it comes to storing information and access. Yeah, if she yeah. keep it. It's such a lot of things. So we know how to also solve it, right? Um, we have to. <laughs> well i'm sure it happened a lot today when um you know to take pictures with the clients or to be proud of one of his milestones achieved would would uh, the result would be maybe she have to delete it or i don't know or what? before doing it ask the permission of the parents or yeah or get the them before yeah. Taking a Yep. Mm -hmm. and that's a big one. I'm just gonna look how do how do we cite the book? <laughs> yeah. 
for reference page. It, we do seven edition, right? APA seven. Yeah. Is that what we follow? Okay, I got it. As far as I know, that's what I've been doing. Yeah. Space is double, right? Just checking, making sure. We can always format it and pick yeah. it up afterwards. Yeah, double probably the best. Yeah, double. Also, we have to indicate at the top of our team summary document which version of the code we are aligning with. Or maybe I can just write on the one that I add for the, the new one, just gonna put the, it the gives version us so it won't be confusing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, can you copy and paste like reference for reference page 2022? Yes. So we have both in a reference page. Mm -hmm. Who knows how to do hangings on reference page? When I get um, home, I can do it. I have on my lap on my uh, iPad right now, but I can do it. Because I know how to do it in a Word, but didn't figure out in a Google Docs. <laughs> I remember okay. how, but I can't explain it. It's like one of those things where I can do it. Okay. But when you do it right. Yes, yeah, so I'll do it when I get home. Thank you. Thank you. So what? Uh, do you think we have discussed everything? Yeah, we cover all the three points of each. Well. Yeah, we just need to go on and... Yeah, we like, can always add, of course, like more always either like to continue like adding and fixing, but at least we cover all the three points that important in both cases. Yeah, so... One and 20. Uh, when we do you have about to, a week? It's next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. oh, so less than a week. Yeah, a little less. less yeah. yeah, when do you want me to you submit, to it, submit it, on it on Monday night? I think that sounds good. I think sounds that's good. Fair, yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just we can like go over and add and modify, and make some corrections, whatever we need to to 
Monday night. And so we're going to do next meeting. Who's who's going to be the team leader and is date, day and time okay? Mm, yeah, I'm okay with when with Thursday, but I'm also flexible if anybody wants to change. I'm fine with was Thursday yeah. at seven o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. That too. I can awesome. be the team lead next week. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Um, I will try to just add this link to the Slack chat too. So yeah. You have access to it. Mm -hmm. And we need to include it on a paper. We're just gonna yeah. copy and paste it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the Google okay. link will stay the same, right? The Google link, the the doc, Google doc, will stay the same. It's just we we're just gonna like delete and 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 update with the new one, the new questions. Or you guys want to create a new one? Um, I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, okay. I'll just create a new one, like okay. at the beginning of the next module. Okay. So, thank you um, so much. Do you want to put your or did you put your email in there, Karen? Is that in the um yes, is the Gmail Slack? one? Okay, yes. so send it to that rather than your yeah, email. Use yeah. my yeah. Gmail okay. too, please. <laughs> okay, because is that in the Slack as well? Yeah, the one I just <laughs> yeah put in the Slack too. Yeah. Okay, I'll just share it with all the same ones on this document. That's awesome. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Thank Sounds you so good. much. Okay, guys. Thank you. I'll good see you. Bye. Later. See okay. you in a 